All right, so some of you probably watched the older dry dock video, and then you tried to do it yourself, getting to the skybox, and realized that you couldn't. And then you all scream at me, saying, lies and deception, Bash, why can't I do this? And the answer is, they sealed off the dry dock, so you can't just fly out into space and go to any room freely or any little skybox area as you would like. Uh, they went out of their way to patch up a couple other holes. There are still some holes in the room that I'm not going to point out, because they will inevitably be fixed, um, but otherwise I will show you how to get around what they've done, as well as another trick that someone found that is kind of cool. Just like in the old video, you still probably want to go and edit your camera movement speed for dojo decorating. Uh, that will speed this up. But otherwise, the answer was in front of you the whole time. Clipping is a thing, people. So literally just get a teleporter, clip it through the wall, and pour it through. Uh, if you push it over far enough, you don't encounter any collision whatsoever. But if you don't push it over far enough, then you still get stuck in this little buffer area. Um, but that's still not an issue issue because if you just go over here into this corner and just go straight down until you hit the bottom you can just move forward and eventually you will slide out and still be in the open space where the uh, skybox is. Now at this point we're caught up to the old video so I'm going to copy paste everything that is still relevant and then show you one new thing at the end. If you enter the sphere, you will see clearly that this is the dry dock skybox. But when you go to place decorations inside of it, you will discover that the entire sphere is a red zone. So then you'll ask, how are people decorating their skyboxes? And the key is to get something and enlarge it and stick it in from outside. There are definitely no jokes to be made about an enlarged object being shoved into an enclosed space, no sir. So here I am dragging out a sentient energy orb, and I bring it just inside the regular sky box. After placing it just outside, I could scoot it in if I want, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to rotate it. Now you'll see the second that the energy orb hits the sphere, it is rendered in the skybox. That goes for anything, including the local translation arrows. This goes for warframes or pets if you manage to get yourself down there. The only thing I'm aware of that does not render in a skybox through the sphere is tributa text or note beacon text. Not all decorations are going to be <laughs> big enough to fit inside. Uh, so do keep that in mind, not everything's going to work. Some decorations will hit the red zone <laughs> before they can even get inside because they are too small. So you'll definitely have to spend some time <laughs> testing uh, this to make sure your idea is actually realistic and doable. A quick closing note is that if you approach the sphere, the regular skybox will disappear, uh, but if you just exit into the normal skybox and back away, you can still see the sphere and the resulting skybox in one view. So credit to Softlump in my Discord for showing me this one, but if you enlarge an object where it is still placeable at the edge of the skybox sphere, reducing it in size afterwards allows it to pretty much bypass the skybox red zone. I do not recommend this to anyone, to be perfectly honest, and you can make it work with anything. I gave it a good long try doing a couple different options, but basically it is the most tedious thing I have ever tried to do. I don't think that people will have a pleasant time doing this, but for those who have been dying for something like this, this is your way to do it.